Hi, thanks for watching my video today. I want to make a video today explaining how to get animated characters into BeamMG and some of the things, what to look for and what not to look for. <clears throat> when choosing a character to, to try to put into the game, they have to be, if you're using Mixamo, which is this right here, the characters have to be in a, should be a T-pose. Something like that. Um, let's put a better example here. Something like that. That should be ideal. And you want to make sure that the character, whatever you download, that the heels aren't touching, the pants aren't touching, the hands cannot be down into a pocket. It's best if they're in a T pose. Their hands can be down to the sides. They just can't be touching their sides. So, like, looking at this Iron Man right here. No, that would not work because he's on a base. You could go into Blender and get rid of it, but the legs are touching. Um, this one possibly, but that leg there being bent wouldn't work. This is ideal. That's what you're looking for. Hands out to the side, legs apart, so that Mixamo can process it. Because it kind of works like um, Meshroom. Kind of looks like Meshroom. Well, it works like Meshroom. Let's see here. This would be a good model to use. See the feet are very far spread apart. The hands are out to the side. So that's what you're looking for when you want to download a model. Here's another good one. Feet are far apart. There's nothing interfering. The arms are out. That's actually a really nice model. <clears throat> and let's see, something like that wouldn't work. This wouldn't work. Oh, that's really cool. That would work good. Um, that would not work. Uh, capes also in the background present a problem because Mixamo is going to process the scan and it's going to rotate the character and use this gray background here in the floor. And it's going to scan through everything. And if you have a cape back there, it's not going to see the background. So it's not going to be able to process the image and you'll get an error. So no to capes. Like right here, this hand touching. This hand right here being on the background of the cape. The cape being in the air. It wouldn't animate correctly. So just keep that in mind. This hawk right here, this would work. Even though his hands are up in the air, because you'd have to identify an elbow, a wrist, the chin, the groin, the knees. You might be able to get that to work. So anyways, with that said, I have a character here I'm going to download. It's Mickey Mouse. It's a nice, perfect T-pose. It does have a skeleton in there. It's probably animated, but we can get rid of that. Um, also, when you're downloading, make sure it comes with the materials. If it doesn't have materials, don't even bother downloading it. You can see this has textures and materials. It's rigid. It doesn't say that it's animated, <clears throat> but it does have a skill. So let's download this. So here we are at the uh, the download section. It, it, it did say it had an FBX, but I don't see the FBX. So I'm assuming that this rigid Mickey zip file must have everything in it because it's 2.15 megabytes. So it's pretty big. And this is a blender text. So everything must be inside here. So we're just going to download that. So let's open up the downloads folder. So here's the downloads folder, and I'm assuming everything's going to be in here. So just extract this file to this location. And let's open it up and take a look. Go to source, and there it is. Everything. There's a blender, a DAE, a FBX, a GLB, an MTL, OB, everything. Apply, 3D, and there's the material. That's the skin that will be, be wrapped around Mickey. And if it's an FBX, most likely that should already be attached. So... We're going to use an F, we're going to use uh, the FBX. So let's go to Blender. And also, if he has a tail, that may be a problem too. But we can get rid of the tail if he has one. We can leave it on either way. So let's go to Downloads. Open that up. Open that up. Go to Source. And there's the FBX. <clears throat> and there's our Mickey Mouse. Now we want to get rid of all these the skeletons. We don't need any of that. So he does have a tail. Now we can animate it with a tail, but we can also easily get rid of that tail. We'll just switch to edit mode. Let 
just highlight that tail right to about right there. This is just just an example, so nothing here has to be perfect. So let's click on this globe up here, and that will give you your materials. Let's go back to object mode. And there's our Mickey Mouse. So everything looks good. Yeah, everything's looking fine. You can get rid of your camera. We don't need that. We certainly don't need that light. And that's about it. So we got rid of the tail. The material is already applied to it. Everything looks good. And you can see the feet down there. There's barely, barely a space between there. See that little gap right there? If this shoe was touching that shoe, this would not animate. It would, but it would be all deformed. It would mess up. So everything here looks good. So let's highlight this. And we don't need we don't need that. Highlight that and we're gonna go to file. We are gonna export this as an FBX. Make sure we're in our downloads folder. We're gonna create a new folder. We'll title it Mickey. We'll go inside there. We'll label this mouse dot FBX. Now here's the most important step of all. We are going to create an FBX file and we are going to zip it and we are going to make it so that it may be dragged into Mixamo as a zipped file. It will not work unless you do this two steps. Right here where it says path mode, you must change this to copy and this little thing right here, I don't even know what it is. Embedded textures, you have to click that until it's highlighted blue just like that. So let's check everything. We're in our downloads folder. I created a new folder named Mickey. This file's name is going to be Mouse FBX. We changed auto to copy and we clicked on this embedded textures export. So let's go here. Let's back out. Back out again. Back out again. And there's our Mickey that we created. And inside there should be mouse and there's no texture in there. There should be a texture file in here. <clears throat> We'll drag it in the Mixamo and see if it works. I don't think it's going to work without the texture file. So let's go to Mixamo. If it does, if it, well, if it animates here, or well, I don't know, let's see. Upload character. Oh, first we have to zip this. Highlight that. Send to compress folder. And there's our compress folder, our zip folder. Let's drag it into there. And it did work. I did not think it would. So now let's go to, let's make this full screen. And let's place this on the chin. I guess Mickey's chin would be right about there. His wrists, elbows, knees. And one thing I never thought I'd say in my life would be Mickey's groin. So we're going to place that right there on Mickey's groin. And see how this is how it processes. If you're familiar with Meshroom, when you do a 3D scan, it's using that get gray background. And as it scans, it's going through everything between the shoes. If it couldn't get through there, it would, it would see the shoes as one object. That's why the pants can't be touching. The hands can't be in the pockets. A T pose is the best pose. All right, now let's go to animations. Let's find, let's make them dance. Now you see his hands are kind of big, so you can take your hands and move them farther out to the sides. So they kind of clear the body a little bit better. This makes your animation a bit longer, adds more frames to it. <clears throat> so we'll download this one. We'll change this to Colada. Leave that at 30 with the skin. Download that. Now I want to download one with him kicking something. Let's just go up here and just type kicking. K-I-C-K-I-N-G. Typing with one hand there. So let's see. I want to I make a video 
inside BMMG, oh, right here would be good. Oh, we got to space them hands out a little bit more. That's pretty good. That's how I did what the video with the Incredible Hawk. Let's see if we can slow them down a little bit. Boom. There we go. So let's download that. Make sure it's on uh, DAE 30 with skin and no keyframe reductions. All right. Let's go to our downloads folder right here. And you can see we did, that's a goalkeeper drop kick. That's what I just did. So let's unzip that. Extract here. And there it is right there. And here's the Roomba dance. We'll extract that one as well. So we got Roomba and the goal kicker. Now we have to figure out where we want to put these in BMMG, what level. <clears throat> so let's go to our Steam content levels. We'll put them in, um, let's just go with grid map. Nah, I hate grid map, it's too boring. Utah, West Coast USA. Yeah, West Coast USA. Oh, let's just change one. Sorry about that. Levels. And we want to open this with WinRAR. There we go. So, levels, West Coast, art, shapes. Let's put that there. And the two files that we want are already highlighted. You have to put these in your level in an unzipped format not in a zip format. This is not a mod, so if it was a mod, you, you can't use these as a mod, but people get confused and keep dragging uh, zip folders over here and it just won't work. So let's make sure arm stretching and goalkeeper. Room, oh, there's already a couple of uh, other animations in here from other things, but there's a drop kick and there's the Roomba dance. Those are the Mickey Mouse. So let's go into BMG. All right, so here we are in West Coast USA. <clears throat> Let's go over here to this big clearing right here, over here by the racetrack. Got this big area to work in right here. And we'll see if we can set something up here with our animated characters. F11. Open up your asset browser. You want to go into art and shapes. And we have, whoops, up here. Oh, sorry, wrong one. West Coast USA, art, shapes, arm stretch. I believe this is a, a dummy. Yeah, that's the dummy. Uh, here's, this should be Mickey Mouse. Oh, there he is. And there was one more, the goalkeeper. And there's the goalkeeper. So let's get rid of that. Now we need a scale our Mickey Mouse is down. Well, the texture came out pretty good, everything. See so right there where I removed the tail. He's got stitches from removing his tail. All right, so let's scale him down. We'll use our dummy as a, a reference guide. So I guess uh, maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. He's still a little big, but it's okay. For this purpose, it's okay. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. So, this is what we're going to make them do. Um, let's see, is that dummy animated? What is he doing? Yeah, he is animated. We'll leave him in here anyways. All right, first thing I want to do is turn everybody around, just get them facing the sun, so there's no shadows. And let's get our dummy arm stretching. So now we got that. Let's pause everything. Press J. Let's see what's right there. Building. So this is what I'm going to do. We're going to get a car. And we'll have the car face this way. We'll do a van or something big. Vehicle. 
Now let's go down here. Uh, let's see here. What should we use? I've got to choose a vehicle now. <clears throat> I know what we'll do. We'll do that mystery machine, that green van. I love using that van. I love the colors and the graphics on it. Right there. Spawn. And there we go. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow everything down. F11. Let's take this Mickey and move him out of the way. Actually, let's put him right there. Let's get the uh, the goal, the arm stretching guy. We're going to move him over here. We're going to make a really quick scene. <clears throat> Something like that. Now, we have to get the Mickey that's kicking, the goalkeeper. Get him positioned, right? Boom. So let's go to a goalkeeper and position him. He is going to whack this van with his foot. Just like that. It doesn't matter if you can, if he hits it perfect because we're not going to be able to see that because the camera is going to be at the front. So let's pause it and let's get down here. This would be like what our camera angle is going to be at. Now let's see how that Mickey performs. See, you won't even be able to tell. So now let's go back to the beginning. Let that Mickey, the goalkeeper, reset right there. Now let's go to the Roomba dance and put his feet in the same exact spot as this one. Something like that. Doesn't have to be exact. I'll try to get them left that left foot in the same spot. There, yeah, that's good enough for the, for these for this purpose. That's fine. So now we're gonna we're we're on the Roomba dance. So let's just uh, no. Let's go to the uh, the goalkeeper and press hide. So he's gone. So now we can get our, our camera, like as if we were making a video. Shift-C to go to free cam. F11, we'll slow our camera down a little bit. As if I was making a scene, you know, something like this. I'll slow that down just a little bit more. Maybe nine. So I would go across here with the camera, something like this. And let's speed everything back up. That's normal speed. Come around here with the camera. You got your scene, Mickey dancing. You got the guy down there stretching his arm. All right, something like that. J, F11. Now we're going to switch. Hide the goalkeeper. Oh, I'm sorry. We forgot one important asset. How are we going to make Mickey? kick the van. Obviously, if we just let him kick, his foot's just going to go right through it. Um, she actually moved Mickey over just a tad. Yeah. Let's move him over just a bit. I want his foot to hit the center of the van. Let's try that again. And I'll show you my trick on how I get... Okay, that's better. So let's get him back to the beginning. Now let me show you my secret weapon here. Go to vehicles. Can I got a lot of things running in the background, so my computer's running a bit slow. Go to old cannon, spawn. Now let's highlight our cannon. Number two, rotate. We want to position this cannon. Right where Mickey Mouse's foot's going to hit. That's pretty good. Probably want to make it go down. I don't want it, because if I fire it like this, it's just going to blow a hole here. I want it to hit on the bumper. So let's see if we can lower it. It's going to want to fight itself and raise up, but it might get stuck. 
See how it's coming up. Yeah, I'm not happy with that, but I don't think there's anything I can do with that, do about it. <clears throat> so we'll see if we can make that work. We'll just see what happens. All right, so now there's the cannon. Now here's something that's very important. You have to remember the position that you're on when you're on the cannon. Obviously, it's going to be behind the cannon. And when you tab, this is the van. Just remember your positions. There's the van. There's the cannon. There's the van. There's the cannon. So we're going to go to the cannon, and we're going to hide it. Now, you don't want to tab back to the van. Hit Shift-C. Now we're still on the cannon. Remember that. We are not on the van. We're on the cannon. You come over here. Alt-U. We're going to slow everything down just one time. And now when Mickey hits the back of the van, I'm going to hit the space bar and fire the cannon. So let's get our camera set. As a matter of fact, we can even go Alt-U. Go to photo mode. Kind of change it up a little bit. depth of field. We want to blur out the background if we can. That looks really cool when you Alt U. And that looks pretty cool. So let's see how this works out. Here we go. We're going to press J. I'm going to let Mickey go one time. This is going to be without the cannon. And now the next one's going to be with the cannon. Here we go. pause we'll go to F11 and we will hide the goalkeeper and turn the Roomba on or the, the Roomba dance on come back around this way get back behind Mickey something like this like he kicked it now he's dancing again we're gonna go alt right arrow one time and bring everything back up to normal speed hit J And then maybe go back to the van. Get a shot over here. Hit J. Kind of go around like this. I don't really like that speed. I would probably slow that down a little bit. Maybe around 9. That's better. And there you go. That's how you uh, how you make a simple trick photography. Make sure you use the cannon. Hide the cannon. Click on hidden. And use your little uh, eyeballs over here to uh, show and hide the characters. So anyways, if you have any questions, just leave anything you need to know down in the, uh, the description area. And I love to help people. I love to answer questions. Um, I do work a lot at my other job, so... Please give me time to answer your questions, but uh, please like and subscribe, share my videos. I'm trying to grow my channel. Thanks for watching.